Do you know what endometriosis is? It's a reproductive disease that affects about 10 million women in the U.S. It can cause those women excruciating pain and is one of the top three causes of female infertility. It's Endometriosis Awareness Month right now. Here to tell us more about the disease is Dr. Tamir Sechkin, an endometriosis specialist and one of his patients, Lisa Saranda. Welcome both of you. So, Doctor, tell me a little bit more. What precisely is endometriosis? Endometriosis is the disease of the womb, but specialist thinks with the period time and characterized with painful periods, later with painful sexual contact and infertility. Therefore, it is probably one of the special private diseases that's not been talked about and also the most misdiagnosed, the most mishandled and mistreated disease. And the most, I said, most, most, most diagnosed. It's very in interesting uh, because it, it never comes to the attention of the, of the parents uh, easily. Uh -huh. And uh, women's uh, uh, cycles are, are very pr private and it's usually that normal. And then the doctors that are involved, it's always uh, been put in the back seat. By the time it's diagnosed on the average 10 years, and unfortunately at that time, there's serious destruction of internal organs with respect to scar tissue and dysfunction of other organs that are associated with the female reproductive tract. So Lisa is your patient, and, and you suffered for how long before you, were, you finally were able to do something about it? Well, my story is a little more complicated than that. It, um, I was diagnosed in 1995, so I've been living with it uh, for 15 years as a diagnosis, but I suffered from very painful periods during my adolescence and would faint in public places. I fainted at the Museum of Natural History when I came here as a teenager for the first time. And um, uh, when I was diagnosed, um, I was familiar with the, the disease, but I didn't really know too much about it. And there wasn't much said about it in 1995. I had a few surgeries, but as Dr. Sechkin will tell you, those surgeries were relatively unsuccessful because I kept having the problems. So you're cured now, I take it. Well, I hope so. At the hands of Dr. Sechkin, I had my third surgery last November, and I, I believe that my quality of life has improved significantly due to the innovative techniques that he's developed. Doctor, can you reverse infertility with surgery? Yes, in, with good surgery, you can do a lot to to make fertility the most possible. Uh, however, it, is, it depends what stage you are at. Right. It's the pain aspect of it also with good surgery, which we call excision. Uh -huh. There are really burning and other types of, but excision is like cancer surgery. You have to take the uh, material that's been giving this, this scar tissue, that origin, that tissue has to be out with the gland tissue. These are many periods that happens every month. So the source, the head of the snake has to be out. Otherwise, uh, the, the symptoms continue and, and completely. The good news is that there is, there is a cure. This, you can affect the cure. Well, I, 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 I think we should be very careful when we use the word cure. It's highly treatable. Mm -hmm. Highly treatable. Cure is guarded with respect to how the disease formats, how early we intervene. Early diagnosis probably the best uh, and early intervention is probably the best prevention and hold, holding of the disease because in the end there is infertility and hysterectomy uh, in, uh, eventually meets these patients of uh, origin. At least thank you for coming and sharing your story with us.